you are at to, 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 to your level. God hates that. Okay, let's go on. A lying tongue. A lie what? Tongue. A tongue that speaks what? Lies. It doesn't matter your age. When you lie, it's a sin and God hates it. That's what the Bible says. A lying what? Tongue. Some of you will never say anything true. Everything that comes from your mouth does a big word lie. So they, 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 they have to scream at you or yell at you before one truth comes from your mouth. The first thing that comes from your mouth is a lie. Yeah. Yet today, God hates what? Lies. Lies. Oh. Lying tongue. Yeah. Lying tongue. Mm. God hates lies. Children hear it. God hates lies. <laughs> when you take it, say, Mommy, I was hungry, I take it. <laughs> Daddy, I took it. I didn't know what came over me. But don't say, I didn't see it. Then when the church said, they see it in your bed. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The head that share innocent blood. God hates the head that share innocent blood. A young man went to a store. Whatever happened to the store, they called the cop, and the cop took his life. Innocent what? Blood. In Jesus' name. Amen. A man walking in the street, he encounters some, uh, some problem and he, he lost his life. Innocent what? Blood. God hit innocent. But hold on. And hands that take innocent life. Innocent blood. God hit that. Hallelujah. Amen. So God can hit too. God can hit some things though. Huh. Next one. A heart that divides we catch imagination. A heart that divides. We kept imagination. You said that all you imagine is wickedness. Amen. Your heart can produce evil. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You are play, all your mother play that come from your heart that are evil. <laughs> you are devising how to trick somebody. Devising in your plenty how to rob somebody. How to take somebody husband. How to take somebody wife. How to frustrate that man? How to frustrate that woman? Go ahead, the heart that defies it, it, we can imagination. What you are, what are you imagining? It's a wickedness. It's a wickedness that you are imagining. You never think good about somebody. Amen. All your part of thought and imagination is evil. Amen. Now, so suppose that because they didn't let that, they didn't see the said evil. Yes. When, when they think of, when, I want you to think about the said are evil. <laughs> Hallelujah. They never think any good thing for themselves. They imagine their self failing. They imagine their self condemned. Yes. They imagine their self worthless. They imagine their self useless. They oh. imagine their self a flow red. Amen. Then who imagine you to be nice? We imagine you will be beautiful when you already see yourself okay. worthless, ugly, mwen mwen, mumu, in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the next one. Fit that be swift to run to mischief. A fit that move quick to mischief. The word mischief means what? Also evil. Amen. Your feet are quick to go and cause trouble. Your feet take you everywhere to get it back. Thank you. Bad news. Hallelujah. You not even call the person by the door without regarding your phone your phone ring. Where are you going? I went to your door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. What? You took my door? But how can you call me first in Jesus' name? Amen. Oh, but you know, you can't turn it. You can't turn it. You can't turn it. You can't turn it. You will bring it. Yes. Hallelujah. I thought different thing. And not even about himself or somebody far away. They're not even thinking about them that the person is crying to him. God hit that. Yep. God hit that. Yep. Somebody say God hit that. God hit that. Somebody say God hit that. God hit that. A false witness that speak lies. Mm. False witness that speak what? Lies. lies. 
Your, your girlfriend said, but you know, that, 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 that won't be doing with me too much. So I, I, I want you to know, we go to, we go to the table. I want you to stand up for me. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. You are not there. You ask me what you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me I was dead. I saw her do it. Then I just said, oh, I asked Wesley, I was dead. Yeah. And, and the person cried, he said, eh, you are not eh. You are not dead. Eh. You are not dead. Well, you, he said, I was dead. <laughs> Don't my whole life, I wish I could have just cried at them. I was dead. I saw her doing it. Yeah. And you know in your heart that you are lying. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. God is dead. God hit that so much. Amen. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. All right. That is saying here, the last one, he that soweth discord among the brethren. So the, the sixth that I did first, that won't go hit, the seventh is abomination. He that soweth discord. Discord means two friends together. And you join them. And your brother trouble here is to scatter the two friends. Amen. You go to the one year, you tell us, I don't want to hit you. You don't want to hit you. I don't want to hit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Then they are fighting among themselves because you want, you, you, you want to join in between them. Hallelujah. Amen. Boy, you are four friends. And you, you see, there are a lot of people there, they, they are so close and you are not close to them. So how, how, how will you be close to that one person? Because in every cycle, there is a one person. I know all of you are very, they're very good and very close, but there is a one person that everybody seems to be attached to in Jesus' name. Now one person now said you, you're not too close to them. Yeah. So you, you, you start pressing, pressing the person man. Or the other one you say that your best friend. Yeah. The other one you say that the person here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, the person you know what you're talking about you. What can be saying to you in Jesus' name? Yeah. So, so you can take that best friend place. Mm -hmm. So you see of this God. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go to people marriages. You lie. All these things are what are planted in the hearts of a hater. Amen. These seven things are in the heart. Yes, last week I told you say, there are seven things in the heart of the wife. Haters. These are the seven things here. These are the things that, that is that is rooted in the heart of somebody who hate. Hallelujah. Now, if they give if the, if, if the black have not rose up, if there were no video to recall what had happened to George Floyd, I, 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 can, I, I, can, I can, I can, I can, I can promise you that they will have come with book, a, a book story and tell you that the man had gone in his pocket. Hallelujah! Yes. Um, they were telling that man had You were fighting them. People will lie to cover up their mess. Now what he can do? In Jesus' name. For God hit these things. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Now these are the seven things that are falling in the heart of a hitter. A proud look, a lying tongue, a hand that shall innocent blood, a heart that divides wicked in my imagination, a thought that is swept to mischief, a false witness that speak lies, a sword of the discord among the brethren. God hates sin, but he loved the sinner. Hallelujah. Amen. God loved the whole sinner. He hates sin. He hates all of these things that I just talked about. But God loved you that I carried it. God loved me that I carried these seven things. Hallelujah. Amen. He just hates that thing that is eating you up. That thing that is destroying you. He hates it, but he loves you. Mm -hmm. He loves me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why he sent his son to die in our place. And that's why he is still is available to forgive us from every wickedness in our life, in our heart. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Now Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 says, Thou hast loved righteousness and hate iniquity. That's the, 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 the proof of what I said that God hates sin and love what? The sinner. Say, thou have loved righteousness and hate what iniquity. God, the word iniquity means sin. I hate sin. But I love my people. In Jesus' name. Amen. He loved the righteous people. He loved the holy people. He loved the people who had fear for God. In Jesus' name. 
who would, would not compromise the things of God. He lost them. Amen. And he would provide and protect them. Somebody say amen. amen. All right? Now, 1 John chapter 4, 8 to 11 says, He that love not, he, he that love not, he that love not, knoweth not God. He that loves not, knoweth not God. What else did I say? If you don't have love, you don't know God. He that loves not, knoweth what? Not knoweth God. So if you don't, love, if you don't have love, you don't know God. How in the word of God, how in the word you say, I love God or I know God, when you have hate in your heart? When you don't have love for anyone? Bible is saying that you don't know God. Yep. Somebody say amen. amen. You don't know God. Now, in this was that well, manifested the love of the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son in this word that we might what lay through him. Then he says, Yea, it is love. Not what we love God, but that he loved us. Hallelujah. Not what we love God, but that He loved us. So God loved us. That's what His Son took our place. And then, then the last line for us, beloved, if God is so, if God, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Yes. Hallelujah. We ought to love one another. If God love us, love you, he is urging you to love your sister, your brother, your friends, your family. Hallelujah. We must love one another. But it start off with, if you don't have love, you don't know God. Amen. You don't know God. Start telling me you know God when you don't have love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The racist, thing, the, 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 the racist cannot tell you to know God. Mm -hmm. All to know is hate. Mm -hmm. And God hates sin. Amen. And hatred is sin. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. We are driving somewhere. Yeah. I know I should be running, but I'm taking my time because it's very important. Now, God wants us to hate sin, not a sinner. Because God hates sin, He wants you to hate sin. God does not hear sinner. So he doesn't want you to hear sinner. He wants you and myself to hear what? Sin. Now when you say with me, God wants me to hear sin. God wants me to hear sin. Say it again. God wants me to hear sin. God wants me to hear sin. Not sinner. Not sinner. Right. So you must hear sin and not sinner. Right? What is in the light of the sinner is what we hate. Is what you hate. Is what God hates. Amen. Hallelujah. So, we don't hate, we don't hate Derek for killing a, 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 a Joshua. We hate the sin that he committed. We hate the murder that he committed. We hate the act of what? A, 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 a murder that he committed to take the life of an innocent person. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout glory. glory. Now, with that said, it brings us to the place that we must be careful that we do not transfer, transfer our hate from the sin to the sinner. Mm. Don't transfer the hate from the sin to the sinner. Amen. It doesn't matter what the person has done. We must hate the sin and not the person. Our hatred should be for the sin. Now, if you don't over, not like if we are to overcome hatred, we must what? We must acknowledge the nature of hate. We must acknowledge the nature of hate still. Amen. 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 Now, number one, hate is a, a characteristic of the what? Un a characteristic of the unrepentance. Hey, the word hate has a characteristic not to repent. Hallelujah. Amen. Within the word itself, hatred, hate, there's no repentance in there. Hallelujah. And that's why it takes love to break hate. Mm hate -hmm. in itself will never repent. But it takes love to penetrate. Somebody say amen. amen. So we should know that. Now someone that is walking in hate, it takes love to break that hate out of them.
Somebody say amen. amen. And who the Lord can do that? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Titus 3 verse 3 says, For we ourselves also, we, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving double lust and pleasure, living in malice, envy, and hateful and hating each other. Hallelujah. Some of us, we have arrived to a place that we are, we are free. We don't have hatred in us. But let us also know that we were there before. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And even if we are not, uh, 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 we are not delivered, there is still part of us that still hates someone. Hallelujah. Amen. So we should be able to to allow love to work on in us, so we will be able to produce love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it wouldn't take love to cover up hate or to break hate and that's what God wants us to have we should share love with each other we should we should we should have love for everyone every one of us somebody say amen, amen. now Greek, we are we Christians are called not to be hateful mm. we are called not to have hatred in our lives mm. we are called to walk according to God's will now number two hatred is one of the work of the flesh so we see Bible says uh, in, 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 in Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 it says now the work of the flesh are manifested which are these idolatry, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, uh, witchcraft, then it says hatred. So hatred is one of the work of the flesh. This our flesh carry on some work. And the work that the flesh carry on is sinful. Hallelujah. So one of those works is hatred. Hallelujah. Amen. The flesh will want to hit somebody that disgusts you. The flesh will want to hit somebody that curse you. The flesh will want to hit somebody that but the my hand on you that mistreated you. Amen. Your flesh will really want to go for it. Mm. Why, why would I want to like him if he always uh, uh, disgraces me? Amen. Why would I want to be with him if he always makes me to, 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 to look stupid? Mm. So your flesh will want to hit him. Mm. So the flesh, mm. hatred is one of the work of the flesh. Amen. But love is the work of the spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us know that. So we should know that for a man to uh, 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 leave his office, get in the car, and drive to the shop, and take a man, pin him to the ground, hallelujah, it was the flesh that was in operation. Because the flesh has embedded in itself hate for a long time. So as soon as the flesh heard that it's a, a black negro or a, a nigga is out there, a rubbing, the flesh wants to react because these are the, the first thing. This is their behavior. This is how they behave. They, they, not the good people. No, 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 not, not, not the good inside of them in Jesus' name. So the flesh produces hatred. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody shout glory. glory. Now, Now, in this list, hatred is associated with adultery, fornication. You see, the, the, the list is associated with all the other major sins that we don't look at. But you see, what Paul said at the end of that chapter in verse 2, he said, They which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So, besides the adultery, the fornication, the people will not enter heaven. Hatred will not enter what? Heaven also. So, hatred is, a part, is part of that list. So, he said, You know, I, I'm not lying. And I want to get you on. And I see that video. What is it? Are you hitting somebody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you hitting somebody? You will not be allowed into heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout glory. Glory! All right. Hatred is harbor only by the fool. Get that? Hatred is harbor. That means the word harbor means hatred is sticking in by only the fool. Only fool that keep. Hatred. Hmm. What does scripture say that? Proverbs 10 verse 18. He that abide hatred, he that hide hatred with, uh, 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 with his lips, with his lying lip, he, uh, he that ought not, let me read it. He that hide hatred with lying lips, and he that utter a slander is a fool. It's a what? Fool. fool. So only fool keep hatred. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Only fool. Somebody say amen. 
Amen. You got to know what, what, what I say, fool. Because when you hit somebody, mm -hmm. you are not doing yourself any favor. Amen. You are hurting yourself. Yeah. You become slave to the person. Right. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. You become what? Slave to the person. Because you are on the watch for them every moment. Mm -hmm. You are concerned about them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. You're looking for them everywhere. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> you plainly want to do it. You, you, you are busy yeah. thinking about them. Yeah. Uh -huh. While you're relaxing. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. So you become a slave to that person. Amen. Shout glory. glory. So it's not a fool. Grab it from today. Please, let's walk from there. I know every one of us has some bit of hate. But let us know that it's not a fool that keeps something in your heart for somebody. Amen. It's not a fool that hates another person. Amen. God's creation. Amen. The fool. You may get hurt. I just said it, let it go. It, it, it doesn't worth it in Jesus' name. Amen. You need your life. You need your health. Amen. You need yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't end your life so soon. Amen. Because of some, so much... It doesn't worth it. He does not worth your life. Amen. She does not worth your life. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Tell me right now what's going to happen to him. Because listen to me. There cannot be injustice right now while the whole world is watching. Amen. There cannot be injustice right now while the whole world is what? watching. The world is looking for justice. Yeah. Out of this case. Yeah. So nobody can come out of it. It's not going on the wall right now. Yeah. We're talking about another wall where we could come out. Yep. And America is not ready for that in Jesus' name. Amen. So justice will be said. Yeah. He may lose his life for killing another person. Hmm. He may spend the rest of his life in prison. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Does it worth that? Mm -mm. What will it take you to, to talk to that man nicely? Mm. Take him to the car nicely. Mm -hmm. Put him in prison. Take him to the prison and, 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 and leave him with, 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 with the judge and the law. Uh. Yes. Why would you take it into your own hand? What right do you have to take somebody's life? Somebody say amen. amen. But that's what hate does. That's what hate does. Hate has penetrated his mind. It has corrupted his mind from his heart. It's been there. It's been there. We're just waiting for the, 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 the moment to explode. And a poor man. Was murdered because of what was planted in his heart yeah. over here. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, another one. Hatred is plural. Mm -hmm. Psalm 25, verse 19. Consider my enemy, for they are many, and they hate me with no, they hate me with plural. Hatred. My enemy hit me with cruel what? Hatred. Listen to the guy. Hatred. The guy. Cruel hatred. <laughs> What's about it? The one that happened to that boy that was cruel hatred. Yes. A man you pin to the ground and the next I can't breathe. And you're laughing. You, you're hitting your pocket. It's wickedness. It's witchcraft. It's cruel what? Hatred. Cruel hatred. Yep. Somebody say amen. amen. Cruel hatred. Mm -hmm. My purpose of coming is to kill you. Yes. And until you die, I will not move from on top to you. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your life breath is given you. Mm -hmm. Even it doesn't matter who say what. Mm -hmm. Stand the bastard and say, he can't breathe. Check your pulse. I don't care about that. I must kill him. Mm -hmm. Because I kept this thing in my heart for long. The team have a law. I must, I must let it go. Hmm. He must die today. Hatred, hatred. Been in the heart for so long. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. All right. Now, now it was the same hatred, it was the same cruel hatred that took the life of Abel. Do you remember the story? Yes. The same cruel hatred that took the life of Ada. Sit up, sit up, sit up. Yeah, yeah. Ada and his brother, what's his brother's name? Somebody tell me, Nicole Day. Cain. The cool, fresh young man on the face of the earth. Somebody say amen. Amen. He went out to make sacrifice to the Lord. 
the big brother of going to bring rotten tomato and, and pepper and chicken sweating and, and, and bella boy and things. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The small brother say, you know what? Uh, 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 God does not deserve rotten things. Hallelujah. Yeah. I must give God a, a pleasant gift. Mm. He gave God a pleasant gift, the one that He will He will treasure. The one that was my gift, He will appreciate. That's Amen. something that He will not pre appreciate. And God glorify Him. God bless Him all for being faithful. The other man got jealous. Envy! Why would my little, my little brother, mm. my little junior brother, that's the one so fam favored by God, so famous, he be everywhere. You can't live up to tomorrow. Cruel, mm. cruel hatred. Kill him. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, is it, is it existing today? Yes. 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 Where? In our family. Yeah. Where? In our community. Yeah. Where? At our church. Yeah. Where? In our nation. Yeah. Where? In the street. Mm -hmm. Where? Among the police. Amen. Where? Yeah. Among the blacks. Amen. Where? Among the white. It's everywhere, even in the church. Yes. Hatred, cruel hatred. Cruel hatred. Cruel hatred. And that's why we need to be taught. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm coming to now, I'll get to yours. I know you, your heart to play that, that role. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, hatred is evidence of immaturity. When a person is not mature, they feel a what? Hate. A mature person can never have a hate all his, his life. Amen. He will let it go because he knows it doesn't worth his life. Mm -hmm. It doesn't worth his, his time on this earth. Mm -hmm. You suffer to go to school mm -hmm. all year, 12 years, to get out of, out of high school, then go to college. Then you just waste all your life behind bars. Immature. Hmm. Immature. Yep. You just got married, you got your family, your children, you go waste yeah. your whole life. Immature. Yeah. They will not see you. And some will most will will not stand it to wait until you get you you you, 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 you don't even they even know when you come out. Mm -hmm. That's how you move over life. Yeah. Oh. Move over the life. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's immature. I can be too that even chore to to what allow him to cost me my life, cost me my precious future. No way. It doesn't deserve it. It doesn't, it doesn't worth it. It doesn't worth it. So before you take that that stop and get somebody to hit them, think about it. Think twice. Think twice. Does it deserve it? Does it worth it? Before you make that decision, think twice. That's so worth it. What happened is something negative happened. What happened when I'm caught in the system? What happened? In Jesus' name. Amen. Think about it. Think about it. Somebody shout glory. glory. Now, ye have heard that it, it, it has been said, thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate that enemy. Who was speaking? Jesus. Jesus said, you have heard. You have heard. Before I came, it was all around, you have heard. They told you. You heard it for the preacher. You heard it for them. You heard it for people all around here. You should what? Love your neighbor and hate your what? Enemy. But I have come to change that. Love your enemy all. Pray for them all. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Love your enemy. Pray for them. Pray for them. In Jesus' name. Amen. My, my, my thing here is that if we don't pray for them, we will not live in a better place. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. If we don't pray for them, they will not change. Yes. That's what we need to pray for them. That's what we need to show them love. They don't know love. Yeah. They have no experience of the word called love. Mm -hmm. So where can they know it is from us? Yeah. They must see it, they must feel it. Yeah. And trust me, love can reach 
the middle part of the person's heart. Hallelujah. Love has a special way to administer unto someone. Hallelujah. And that person can, they can what? They, they, they can fall to their knees. Hallelujah. They can fall to their knees and repent. They can fall to their knees and give up everything that they plan to do to you. Hallelujah. Because you have just shown them what? Love. That they have not experienced. That they have not seen in your life. Love can make a man go crazy and do everything for a young girl. Love can make a, 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 a woman go crazy and do everything for a young boy. Yes. Ah. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Love can change everything around. Mm -hmm. Show them love. Teach them love. Yeah. By demonstrating it. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Pray for your enemy. Pray for them. Pray for them, believers. Pray for them. Pray for them. I don't know. I'm speaking to the world right now. I don't know as to whether even I myself, I'm uh, not taking the time, but I think I will do that to uh, begin today. And you know, how many of us said the thing happened? How many of us have prayed for Derek? I don't think anybody has prayed yet. Okay. We'll pray for Derek, yeah? Okay, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Yeah, but it will be a high thing to, for people to pray for their enemies. To pray for the one who have done wrong to you. Done wrong to your family. The Bible says we should what? Pray for them. That's the first step of healing for yourself. In Jesus' name. If I can pray for him, then I know I'm being taken care of. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Oh, the time is real running. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm running to the last one. Now. Okay. Let, let me go there. I will not read all, all that scripture. Let, let, let me go down to the next one. Failure in overcoming hatred leads to many other what? Evil. If you cannot overcome hatred, there are many other things that happen. Hatred stir up trouble. It will stir up trouble in your home, or in your family, in your life. Proverbs 10, verse 12 says, Hatred stir up strife, but love cover all our sin. Love cover all sin. Now, oh, this is where I'm getting that. Don't get ready. This is where I'm getting that. Bible led me to know that Joseph and his and his brethren uh, was with their family. And among the, the brethren, his, he and his brethren, Bible says that his father loved him so much. Made him the color of many colors. Who said the right there? Come back, come back here. Made him the color of many colors. And because of that, his siblings, his brethren uh, kind of envy him. Very mad with the situation of why the father will pick among them and made this younger boy who nestled the last son a coat that is so beautiful that showed that he loved the child more than them and they were mad, jealous, envy of that. Now talking of that, this young man began to have a series of dreams. Uh, they already mad with you because your father loved you, then you come to tell them, I, I, I see myself being a leader. I see myself being ahead over you guys. You guys will, will come to me for help. I will support and sustain you guys. Nobody want to hear that. No way. Nobody want to hear that. Mm -mm. So they all became mad. You guys are all Joseph. Hey, Joseph hey, hey, hey. You all became mad. And Jesus, the fifth of mouth is good. That's just smile. Not smile. In Jesus' name. They all became mad. <laughs> Hallelujah. So what I did was one day they were out there in the field taking care of the father of flood or sheep or whatever it is. And Bible said the father said, Go and find your brothers. And I'm not seeing them for, for days now. Go and see after what they are doing well and doing fine. And Joseph went to see them. And when Joseph went to see them, Joseph went far off. And one of them say, here come the dreamer. Here come the one who will be our head. You come together. Yo, come, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Go together in a cycle. Here come the dreamer. Here, here, here come together in a cycle. Just stay with it. Now, come together quickly. 
come together, you are talking secret now. Here come the brimmer. Now they begin to play. What to do to the brimmer? Yeah. Hatred being in there for so long. Hallelujah. Amen. Hatred being in their life for what? So long. And they wanted to deal with this situation one and for all. So the next move was that, yeah, come in, yeah, 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 see. Let's get rid of him. Yeah. And this thing will be over. So as soon as he came, they grabbed him. Grab him and put me in the middle. They grabbed him. Mm. Everybody come around me, I know. They might not go anywhere. We see now when we're, 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 we're feeling with you. I said, well, daddy will love you anymore. And they said, well, the, the plan was that we were about to kill him. Yeah. That's hatred. We were about to kill him. Yeah. That was all they decided. But while they were playing that, one of them, who knew the plan, was not part of the plan. Amen? Um. He knew the plan, but he was not what? Part of the plan. Mm. And he came. Come over. And he said, Oh, I got, I got, I got an idea. Got an idea. Let us not stain our hand with our blood. We can get rid of him, but the thing will not be on our head. Mm -hmm. I just saw a big hole, like a well. Just drop it in the well. That's hatred, though. Mm -hmm. That's what hatred can do in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let's drop it in the well. But. The big brother, the oldest brother, he had a mind, he had a plan. Hallelujah. He was working with them from the outside, not from the inside. I want you to grab this. He was working with them from the what? Outside. Not from the inside. Hallelujah. He had a different plan. That when we drop it in the hole, I make sure I get them out of here and I bypass them, come and free my brother. In Jesus' name. Because I don't want my brother to die. This hatred has been going on too long. I don't support it. But if I stay among them, they will kill me. Why we I want to, to, uh, to be a white man and talking for the black? They will destroy me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah! Yeah. But you see, you can be a white man and talk for the black and God will protect you. Amen. You can be a black man and speak for the black and God will protect you. Amen. You can be a black man and speak for the white and God will protect you. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says that that they agreed and they dropped me into the well. Now he said he was Tommy then walking around doing stuff. While he went walking around the best that people came. People would have buy things, buy, him, buy slaves. They said that, oh you know what? This is a profit making deal. You can make some small money here. Hallelujah. Amen. And that one, nobody will know about it. In fact, that the, that the best thing we got, you know, we're not killing him. He's not dying in Jesus' name. Amen. So quickly, they didn't even wait for the big brother to come for a proof to say that, that, that our people that let, let him give us some advice. Some they sell that man quick, quick, because the brother could arrive in Jesus' name. Amen. The brother could arrive, they sell him quick. He was so very fast. And I believe that they, 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 they didn't get that money. <laughs> they, <laughs> they hid that money from him. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. All right. Now, you know all that stuff with Pusha yet. You saw Joseph, Joseph went down there, Joseph out there. Now, it came to the town where there was farming in the land. And there was no food. And the place where Joseph went, because of Joseph, what? His, his what? His, 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 his gift. I want to say your gift, your gift put to use, it will provide for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Give, Joseph gave provider room for him, and Joseph became a prime minister within Egypt. He was the second in command. Amen. Now he was the man where there were no food. He was in charge of food. Amen. The man who had proved to three bed, take six bed, and no question behind it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The brother that came to look for food. They didn't recognize. Listen, listen to me. The haters will not recognize it. Yeah. They will not recognize you when they, after they have wronged you, they have done wrong to you. When God lift you up, they will not recognize you. When God favor you, they will not recognize you. Hallelujah. 
Bible said they did not recognize him, but he recognized them. He gave them enough food. He sent them away, and he told them, bring your brother. When the brother, brother, all the story went, and at the end, the whole family were relocated to Egypt. Now, this is the place where really love is seen. Bible says they moved into Egypt. They lived into Egypt for so many years, and their father what? Died. When their father died, these guys were still trouble. They said among themselves, our father is now what? Dead. And our brother will come back at us for the wrong we did. How we saw him into slavery. They are still thinking about the wrong. Listen to me. They will never forgive themselves. Amen. It has for them to forgive themselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You took, he told them that he forgave them before, but yet they still, they still keep it in their heart that their brother had not left them yet. Hallelujah. Amen. So when their father died, they had a meeting and said, let's go and confront this man. You know, haters are always put that can make up good stories. They put a plan together. Let, let me tell you, our, our, our father, our lady, he said this. <laughs> so, they, so they went to him. He said, brothers, I said, brother, when daddy, when daddy was living, he said, hallelujah, Amen. that you will forgive us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have come to ask you to please forgive us. Yes. And the, the brother started crying. They all begin to cry, begin to cry, holy brother. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So he started crying, but after he, he stopped crying, they, they all fell down to their knees before he fell put up your knees. They fell down to their what? Knee. They thought they always fall down to your knees. They will always look up for you. Somebody say hallelujah. Because you are hearing law, they must look up for you. They must get lost from you. They must get the blessings from you. And that's why we need to show them what? Love. They fell down to their knees and said, Brother, we beg you, please forgive us. And he said, Well, I, I have forgiven you. But anyway, let me get it straight. He said, Let me make you understand. You did it for what? Evil. Your plan was for what? Evil. Your mind was set to destroy me. Yeah. Your mind was set to eliminate me. Yeah. You, 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 you have purpose in your mind to get rid of me. But you see, God did it for the uh, 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 for good. For such a time like this. Uh, and your plan came to pass that many people are benefiting today. We are able to fill the whole nation. Many people are blessed because of your evil plan. So I forgive you. Don't worry about your life. I will take care of you. I will take care of your children. I will, I will not for you. I will guide you. I will feed you. Don't worry. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Look for the feet. Look for the feet. Hallelujah. So I don't want you to worry. I don't want you to worry. I will take care of you. Those father is dead. Now you are thinking that because you know, this was the statement. This was the statement. The statement is that, that, that you know, please forgive us because of the God of your father. <laughs> the, the God of your what? Your father. You get that? So what they are saying, you are only forgiving us because our father was alive. But now our father is dead, you will not forgive us. So if we use the God of our father, who you serve, who you fear. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. You will be compared to. And he told us, I have forgiven you a long time. Forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. I have pardoned you a long time. Pardon yourself. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. But what did you see? We saw true what? Love. I will not only take care of you, but I will take care of your wife, your children. I will not only bless you, but I will bless your wife, children. When they hit us, see true love, they are bound to repent. They are bound to what? Repent. They are bound to repent. 
Hallelujah. Now we cannot be like them. We cannot help them because they hate us. Somebody must make the difference. We must show them what? Love. Now let's say it, it takes only love to break hate. Yeah, only love. Hallelujah. Amen. Only love amen. can destroy it. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm about to close. I'm about to close. I'm about to close. I'm already small rather hoping. I'm about to close. I'm about to close. Only love. Only love. Only love. On the law. Now, if I ask you right now to go to your community and, and find, or in your family, go and find a miserable person. Huh? Somebody who is miserable that you are there, find them for, for me. Go, 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 go and find them. It will be easy. You know why it's easy? It's easy because. I believe you know exactly where to go. You are going to the door of that person who is bitter. That person who is resentful. That person who is unforgiving. That person who is a hater. That's the most miserable person. When a person is a hater, is what? Miserable. When you hate somebody, you are what? Miserable. Very miserable. Very miserable. You are a slave to that person. Very slave. Now this guy said, they call him Dr. S. S. I. McLuhan. He, he said, what a person eat is not as important as the bitter spirit, the hate that he, the feeling of guilt that we eat him. What you eat is not as important as that bitter thing inside of you that will eat you up. Mm -hmm. And talk about hate. Hate is the bitter stuff. I will eat you up. Somebody say amen. amen. So hate can destroy life. Yes. And God don't want you to be destroyed. So love is the only thing that you can use to break hate. Mm -hmm. It is either love or hate. You either love or you hate. Mm -hmm. You are either love or you hate. Now listen to me. You either love or you hate, or they either love you or they hate you, or you either uh, you either uh, you, you, you either love or you hate. But I, I encourage you to what? to love, because love is the best answer, it's the best solution that will, that will break the yoke in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now I grab this last part and then I close. Better the love is the bash for discipleship. But the law is a command. It's a command. But the law is a, 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 a is to maintain is to maintain above all things. But the law is the, the second commandment, the second greatest commandment. But the law is for is to fulfill the law. But the law will, 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 will prevent stumbling. All right? We are to love the brethren as the Lord loved us. We are to love ourselves. We have to love the brethren as ourselves. We have to love others without hypocrisy. Amen. We have to love others in their uh, in deeds and not in words alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In deeds and not in well, words alone. Amen. We must love. Now listen to what Solomon says in Solomon chapter 15, uh, Proverbs 15, verse 7 17. He said, Better is the dinner. Better is the dinner of her. You know her is medicine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Better is the dinner of her. Where love is, there is still mm -hmm. of ox. Hatred, there we. So he said, you can be eating and you can be drinking jolobo. When love is there, it, it, it will be sweet. You can be eating the, the, the best prepared food. When there is, when hate is there, it's not in your mouth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So what's the Lord say? The, the did not become better when love is there. Hallelujah. Now, Booker, Booker T. Washington said, and I want you to say this after me. Booker T. Washington, he believes this. I will not allow, I will not allow any, man any man to reduce my soul to, reduce my soul to the level of hatred. To the level of hatred. I will not allow any man. I will not allow any man. 
I will not allow any woman to reduce my soul to hatred. With hatred. Don't do that. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You are better than that. You are better than that. We need to rise up as black people and begin to show the white community that we love them. Rise up and show them we are better than them. By showing them love. They don't know it. They have not experienced love. Show them love. Teach them love. And thank God that some of them are walking, they are, they are seeing the love and the affection. And I want to beg you, where there is hate in your heart, in your family, they'll rise up with love to, to, to destroy them. They'll rise up with love. I'm not telling you it's easy to do, but with God, all things are what? Possible. With God, all things are what? Possible. Can rise up with love in our heart and begin to show them love. And that love will break yokes. And your love will bring them to their knees. They will fall right before you and they will tell you, I'm sorry for what I did. Amen. They will fall before you and tell you, say, thank you for what you did for me. Amen. They will fall before you and God will bring it to remember and I told you that you are the head of this family. Amen. He will remind them again. Let us rise to our feet. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, oh, he yeah.
God bless you. I don't walk on the table and table no single as you. And I think